Hey guys, today we are making Cinnabon donut holes or munchkins, depends on where you're from. So I'm over by the stove right now because we are going to first start getting our coconut oil heated. You want to get it to about 350 degrees. That's the smoke point of coconut oil. We bought our coconut oil in bulk online for pretty cheap. And this is what we like to use if we're going to use it for frying because we're basically just wasting a big batch of it, even though we're going to end up with delicious Cinnabon donuts. The reason we're doing it at the stove and not using our usual setup of the induction burner is because when you're on um, a stove top, the heat is more consistent. And when you're frying stuff, you want the consistent heat. You don't want the induction burner to go off and on. So we are going to fry our donut holes at the stove top. We're going to put a good amount in here. You'll see in just a second. You need just about enough coconut oil to make sure that the donut holes are fully submerged. Before we get to making our dough for the donut holes, we are going to place a thermometer into the oil and just let it set so we can keep track of the temperature. Now we're going to make our Cinnabon donut mixture. For the dry ingredients, you want a quarter cup coconut flour, two tablespoons of psyllium husk fiber, quarter teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon baking powder. And now for the fun part, the seasoning. A mixture. We're going to use cinnamon and ginger. I really like the ginger flavor. I find it comes through a lot at the end result and ginger is just such a good flavor. Um, but you can omit either of these. You can play around with them. You can up them or down them. You can even do pumpkin spice since fall time is coming up. So we're going to do one teaspoon cinnamon and half a teaspoon ginger. And give that a nice mix. Now for the wet ingredients. Two eggs, three tablespoons of olive oil, three tablespoons of water, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And 40 drops of liquid stevia. This is the only sweetener we're using in these. So if you like your donuts really sweet, you can up that amount. But we found 40 drops was the perfect sweetness level. In case you're wondering about my shirt, this is a sausage stain that I got on it earlier, but we're all keto normies, aren't we? So this is our t-shirt line. We just started. It's on Teespring. It's for our podcast. We have a podcast in case you don't know, Keto for Normies. It's on every podcast app out there. Uh, we do really awesome interviews. Just to name a couple, we've done Jason Whitrock and Leanne Vogel. They both... Uh, Leanne Vogel talked about carb ups. Jason Whitrock talked about building muscle. Just really great knowledge. So definitely give that a check out. So now that we've got our wet ingredients in here, we're going to give it a mixture. Perfect. And then we're going to add our dry ingredients in two parts. You want to push down your batter, give it one last mix. We're going to let our mixture sit for a bit. Psyllium husk powder kind of does its thing when it's sitting and it's moisturized. It's sitting in moisture. Um, but a good note is that coconut flour and psyllium husk fiber do vary brand to brand, person to person. So you want to aim for this consistency. You want to be able to form it with your hand into a ball because we're going for donuts here. So our coconut oil has hit about 340. Anywhere from 330 to 350 is good. We just rolled out our donuts. We find it's easier to have them all just pre-rolled so you can just plop them in real quick. And when it comes to cooking them, a tip is let these go a little past what you think is actually done because psyllium husk fiber stays pretty moist in the center. So you want to cook it through as much as possible so you don't just get a really mushy center.
Our second batch is looking about done. So the six to eight minutes at 340 degrees is perfect. Pull these out. Drop these onto a paper towel. We are now gonna let the donuts cool, but Cinnabon isn't Cinnabon without the glaze. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really delicious icing for these donuts. We say icing because it's a thicker consistency, but if you want more of a glaze, like a thinner consistency, you can just add more of the heavy whipping cream and that'll make it thin. So since we're going for the Cinnabon icing, we're making it more of a thicker icing. Start with two tablespoons of room temperature cream cheese in your bowl. Room temperature is important. And then we're gonna cream that. Okay. To the cream cheese, we're gonna add half a cup of powdered erythritol. So this is actually just granular erythritol that we made powdered in bulk. And we like to have this on hand. We used our coffee grinder. It's really easy and three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm gonna give it another mix. So last time we made these, we did three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, but it's not written in stone. So we are gonna add some more heavy whipping cream to thin this out. We wanna be able to just dunk our donuts in and get a thick icing. We're gonna go with two more tablespoons and see what that does. Now that's what we're looking for. Ooh, baby. Mm, smells so good. So these are gonna be the perfect topping to our cooled donuts. Speaking of donuts, let's pull those guys over. Yes. Look at those beauties. Mm. So now I'm gonna dunk these little baby munchkins for you and taste test. So we like to go about halfway, a nice half coating. It's not the most beautiful, but it tastes fantastic. But you can dunk these all the way. You can dip it as each bite you take so you can get more frosting, icing. If you're taking these to a party or something, you could even pipe the icing on if you're looking for like a nice swirl design. You can up the heavy whipping cream if you want it to be thinner. And that's how easy it is to make Cinnabon at home. And I'm gonna try one. Mm, get some extra glaze on there for me. Mmm, perfectly cooked. And even the donut itself is perfect. Good sweetness, good cinnamon. You get the, the hint of ginger at the end but I'm an icing kind of person, so. Share them with your friends and family. They will love you. All right, so don't forget to check out our podcast. All the recipe ingredients, instructions will be linked in the blog post below, subscribe. And if you wanna get notifications for our live streams, cause we do do them, hit the bell and that'll just keep you notified on the reg. It's right next to the subscribe button in case you can't find it. I couldn't. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.